Hey everyone. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about percent of change, the amount of percent that something changes. So what are we talking about? Okay, so the percent a quantity goes up or down from its original amount is called the percent of change. We'll deal with this was the amount how much something uh, changes when it goes on sale, or how much something changes when you earn a profit, or things like that. So percent of change is a pretty easy formula. It's simply the amount that something changes, or the amount of change, over the original amount. A percent of increase would show how much something increased, and a percent of decrease would show how much something decreased. So no one will ask you for percent of increase or decrease. They're just going to ask you for the percent of change, and you're going to have to know if it went up or down. So if I want to know what is the percent of increase from 8 to 10, notice it's percent of increase because it went up from 8 to 10. So the amount of change over the original amount. So how much did it change? Well, the amount of change was 10 minus 8, or it went up 2. And what was the original amount? 8. And that's why we get 2 over 8, which simplifies down to 1 fourth, which we can write as 0.25, which is 25% change. Pretty simple, isn't it? All right, so if we wanted to find out what the percent of change of something was from 10 up to 25, notice, formula stays the same. How much did it change? Did you say 15? Good. And then that would be 15. And what was the original amount? 10. The most popular mistake is people will put 15 over 25. Um, it's always the number that was the original amount. And since we went from 10 to 25, 10 was the original amount. Which gets us 1.5. And 1.5 would get us 150%. All right, so find the percent of decrease. Notice now we're decreasing. So what do we do? Let's find the amount that something changed. It changed 8, which means it had a decrease from uh, 8, and the original amount was the 28. So we divide. We get a nice decimal of 2.285. I rounded that to the nearest thousand. And now we find our percentage, 28.5%. Find the percent of increase from 57 to 65. How much did it increase? 8. And the original number was 57. All right, now we just have to be able to divide that. Easier than it sounded. Got a nice 1.403, which of course moved the decimal two spots to the right, and we get 14.03, or we can round it down to 14%. What do you guys think of this? Pretty easy? Hope so. So, find the percent of decrease from 400 down to 20. That's going to be a big decrease. Why don't you guys see if you can handle this one? All right, I'm back. So, formula stays the same. How much did it decrease? 380. And that means 380 over 40. Can we simplify that a little bit? Yeah. 95 over 100, which makes it really easy because anything over 100 is the percent. 95%. Okay, um, if you have any, oh, let's see, let's move on. Sorry, I thought we were done. Percent of error. To find the percent of an error, we estimate the quantity differs from the actual amount, which is pretty much the same formula that we've been using. Notice, it's the amount of error by the actual amount. So, if you estimate your classroom length to be 16 feet, and the actual length is 21 feet, what was your percent of error? Well, we want the amount of the error over the actual amount. So, your error was 5 feet, and the actual amount was 21 feet. So, we find the decimal, and we get the percentage. You try. So your friend estimates to be 23 feet. The actual length was 21 feet. Find the percent of error. Here's the formula. All right, go for it. OK, I'm back. So notice your friend had a two, feet, two foot error. And the actual amount was still 21 feet. So once again, we get a nice decimal. And then we get a nice percentage. Question is, who's a better estimator, you or your friend? Well, in this situation, it was your friend.
but it's make-believe, so no big deal. All right, that's it. If you guys got any questions, please feel free to let me know. I hope that made sense. Talk to you guys later.